Hello everyone, this is Brin King. Today I'm bringing you my Cyber Angel deck profile. So yeah, this is my main ritual deck that I use and my favorite ritual deck that's been used all across uh, the series of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, of course, Alexis used this in the GX series and then was used by Alexis again in the Arc 5 series. So yeah, this is one of my two main decks I use that does not have an extra deck. Um, and which is a nice thing about this deck because the new rules don't affect this deck because it's based off ritual summoning. So yeah, so let's get the deck profile. So there's 60 cards in the main deck and of course one card in the side deck, which of course as you can see right there. But anyway, let's get into the main deck here. So, and I also do have a thing for fairy decks too, so yeah. Um, but anyway, I got three Cyber Petite Angels that help search out your, um, of course, you know, Cyber Angels or the Ritual Spell cards. So got three of those in there. And this this deck is this deck also does have some variety to it, um, and it is a lot of fun, and it can be very good as well too. So, a lot of fun and really good deck, and got variety to it. Um, got three Cyber Tutu Bonds. Got three Manju of the Ten Thousand Hands, which can also search out your. Ritual Moss is a ritual spell, so that's why we got three in there, and of course, because it's a fairy, so. And I got three Senju of the Thousand Hands. Of course, it's also a fairy, and can also search out your ritual moss or cards. I got three Honest in here, because of course, this card is at three, and of course, all the moss in the deck here are light monsters. Uh, the thing with Cyber Angels, most of them are. I have low attack, so they can easily get taken out. But at least with Honest, it helps, you know, can be a good offensive or defensive card. So it's a really good card. It can be either or. So that's why I have three of those in there. And I got three Marshmallow because, of course, if you don't end up getting to any of your monsters, at least you have a good de defense set. And, of course, it's also very monsters as well, too. So that's it for the actual effect monsters. Now the rest of the main deck monsters are ritual monsters. So I got three Cyber Angel Benton. Three Cyber Angel Edithin. Got three Cyber Angel Dakini, which is actually one of the two stronger few, uh, ritual monsters. Three Cyber Angel Vrash, which is the other strong ritual monster. And for the rest of the rituals, we got three Cyber Angel Natasha. So that's it for the rituals. Now on to the spells. Got three Machine Angel Rituals. So I have like three of each of the rit ritual spell cards. Since you do have uh, 15 ritual monsters, so I've got three of those. And I got three Machine Angel Absolute Ritual because I've got to max out in those ritual spell cards. And I got three Ritual Sanctuary. Good field spell for the deck for um, rituals. And I have three Ritual Weapons. And the reason I have this card is kind of the same reason for Honest. It helps power up the weaker uh, Cyber Angels. Of course, it's only for level six or lower Ritual Monsters, which the there's uh, that leaves that leaves out Dakini and Vrash, but their ones are weaker, so this works for them. It helps power them by 15 our attack points, so like I said, same reason why I have Honest is why I got this in there. Help power with the, weak, the weaker Cyber Angel monsters. Uh, got three Ghost Sarcophagus. Can really search out any card. Got two Burial from a different dimension because uh, there is some there is some banishing cards in here, so I want to get those cards back. Got two Preparation of Rights. Cards that too, so I got two of those in here. Help search and recycle. I uh, got one ascending soul because you know, good for ritual decks. 
Same for reason for Ritual Cage, also good for Ritual decks. Out of the traps, got three called Haunted. And then three Jar of Avarice, the rest of the cards in the main deck. And then for, of course, the one card for the side deck is Valhalla Hall of Fallen because it is a fairy deck and this card does work in the deck. So, yeah, I did have that in there, but when preparation rights came to two, I thought I'd put the second one there and then put this in the side deck. So that's kind of why that's out, that's there. So, yeah, that's it for this Cyber Angel deck profile. Like I said, it's uh, no extra deck to it. So, like I said, since it's based on ritual summoning, the new rules don't affect this deck. And it is a lot of fun and, it can be, and it's very good and does have the variety there as well. So, yeah. I really love this deck because it's my favorite ritual deck, and yeah, definitely recommend it if you like ritual summoning. So anyway, this this is it for this deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next video. This is Supreme King signing off. Get your game on.